two, man. I'm I might have to do a part three on this one. I might have to do a part three on this one right here, man. Where I left off at? Uh, it's how to survive and stay alive. This is all the tips for you, man. To help you survive and stay alive, man. This is all the stuff that I, I can't get everything. I'm not gonna be able to get everything. But some of the things that I could get you to you, maybe it might save your life one day. You know? And I'm gonna give you a whole DJ, a whole bunch of DJ Callies, another one. <laughs> well, let me give you the first one. Another one on the part two. Part three we left, I mean part one we left off uh, knowing your surroundings, pay attention to body language, hands, all that. This one is a good one for all you drug dealers out there. This one is a good one for all you females that go to work early in the morning or come home late at night. These, this one is for you. Never be predictable. Never be predictable. Let me say that one more time. Never be predictable. If you come out every morning at six o'clock, you don't think nobody else know that? You don't think nobody else know that? If you come home at eight o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night, you don't think nobody else know that? Every night you come home the same time. You don't think nobody know, know that? See, what helps me is I can come home at any time. I can come home at one, two, three, four, five, six in the morning. Seven sometimes. It's been a couple times I came home at seven. Very dangerous. You never know who's sick in your neighborhood, man. A lot of y'all. Well, that's 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 the next one I'm gonna give y'all probably. I'm probably gonna give y'all that one next. It's a lot of sick people in this world, man. It's a lot of people you would not believe. That will kill you. Some of y'all got neighbors that will kill you. I live in an all white neighborhood. You think a majority white neighborhood, but you think that it ain't no sick people out there? You think it ain't no sick people out there? I might got some people that don't like me. Like I said in part one. You have to be unpredictable. Girl, if you get up in the morning and you leave out at 6 a.m., 7 a.m. every morning, if you do not have a man at home, You need, and you do not have a firearm. You need to be unpredictable. You need to be unpredictable. Some mornings, get up early and go. Some mornings, get up a little later and go. Some mornings, 
Go at your normal time. Try to time it when your neighbors come out. If you see your neighbors, it's easy for somebody to just look out the window or somebody to just be always outside that time of morning and know that you come out every day that time of morning. It could be that dude walking his, his dog. It could be that female that's walking her dog. You don't know that. You don't know. You don't know. Nowadays, you don't know. She could be working for somebody else. Somebody could. She, they could both be into it with it together. Biggie Small said, "Never let them know your next move. Don't you know bad boys move in silence? Take it from your eyes." Take it from your highness, man. Take it from the king, baby. I'm the king at robbing motherfuckers. I done robbed so many people, I don't even fucking remember how many. I done took people in their house. I done put people in their own bathrooms. I done done all this type of shit. So what, who better to listen to than me? I done did time for dude for fucking niggas up. I ain't do time for drugs. I'm giving you the game. Don't be predictable. You never know who's watching you through them blinds. You never know who's secretly jerking off on you. You never know who wants you. You never know who who, who want to just put their fucking hands around your neck. You never know who hates you for your skin color. You never know. The problem is we get too comfortable with shit. We get too comfortable with just living a normal life. Until violence comes into your normal life. Now, I don't want to scare none of y'all, but it's true. If a woman get up every morning and go to work the same time, look, you should have your man coming outside with you anyway sometimes. If not all the time, sometimes. If your man is home and he in the bed, he sleep, and you don't want to wake him up, he might be waking up to your screams. Try to let people see a man's presence. That go a long way. Let people see a man's presence every now and then. A man coming out walking you to your car. That, that way, a motherfucker know they can't put you in the house. They can't back you up into the house because it might be a man in there. That goes with being unpredictable. See, motherfuckers that kill people like that, they smart. They understand shit. All y'all women that live alone, get a fucking gun. Have it in your purse. Your purse unzip when you come out that, that fucking house and have your hand somewhere close to that motherfucker. Learn how to put your keys in the motherfucking... Look out the windows before you go outside. This goes for you drug dealers too. Look out the fucking windows. Look out the back windows. Look out the front windows. Look out the peephole. If you selling drugs out your house, you fucking up in the first place. You fucking up. But if somebody find out where you live at, if niggas know where you live at, even your own niggas, trust no one. Trust no one. You want to survive. You 
want to live, trust no one. And try not to keep your money in your fucking house. Don't keep all your drugs and money in your house. Because nine times out of ten, the niggas just want the drugs and the money. You should not be putting your putting your family in harm's way. Niggas that fuck with you should know that you don't have the shit in your house. Never make a sale out of your house. I had a dumbass nigga sell some fucking weed to me. He told me to come in the house. I can't, my whole intention was to rob this nigga in the first fucking place. My whole intention was to rob this nigga in the first place. He gonna let me in his house? Now I got access to all your shit. I got access to everything. All money ain't good money. If it's around your house or it's by your house, it ain't good, man. All money ain't good money. Switch your shit up. Let niggas know, damn, man, shit, I gotta go get it. Don't be showing people where you got it at. Hide it somewhere. Pay, you can pay somebody to, to hold your shit. You just gotta let them know. You fuck my shit up, I'ma fuck you up. Either that or shit, buy a little storage or something. Get a storage. You gotta be smarter, man. You gotta be smart out here. Y'all niggas selling drugs out your house? Man, shit. I mean, you gotta worry about somebody kicking, the police kicking that bitch in. Somebody getting, somebody, one of your junkies or something, getting pitched on some fucking stem or the stem or, or some bullshit or some pills or something and then they tell who they got it from. Or they get caught with it in their pocket and they tell who they got it from. The people say, man, I just wanna know where you got this from. And they tell on you and now, now they come and kicking your shit in. Don't serve motherfuckers where you live at. If you legal, Come out the house with your shit in your hand. Off safety. Get out the car with the bitch in your hand. Off safety. Or somewhere close. Take your shirt. Put it in your belt. Take your shirt and, and move your shit over top of your shirt. To get to it fast. Look at your surroundings. When you pull up at your house. If something ain't right, it normally ain't right. But see, a lot of single women that don't be worried about their safety as far as not buying a firearm, you ain't got no felonies. Some states, I'm gonna tell you like this, I don't want to give out too much game, but some states you can get your rights back to hold a gun. Some states, see, a lot of y'all catch a felony, right? And y'all don't look up how to get your rights back. Y'all think it's too much work. Or, listen, man. The state of Florida is, is eight years. The state of Florida is eight years. After you caught your felony, you can get your gun rights back. But see, y'all don't understand that. And for a female that live alone or live with kids, you need to have a pistol to protect them kids. Who you think niggas ain't gonna fuck with you because you a female? 
You vulnerable. You vulnerable. You come out the house every fucking day the same time. You vulnerable. Or a nigga don't never see you come out with a nigga. A nigga in there always sleep. That's how his ass can get done too. And for y'all females that got boyfriends that sell drugs, stop just going out the house all nonchalant like that. You got to understand that your man sell drugs. You got to understand that your man, he got a little charger, a little scat pack. He got a little something. Niggas in the hood know he sell drugs. You don't need to be just coming in gingerly. You need to you need to call when you coming home. Hey, babe, I'm about to pull up. Okay. You need to look out the window. Look out the windows. Before you even touch, this is what you do. This go for my drug dealers too. When you go to the door, right? Before you unlock it, you unlock one lock, jiggle the handle, and look out the peephole. Look out the window. If you know you a target, or you could be a target, see some of y'all niggas think, oh, I'm in the hood, I'm in my hood. So I ain't worried about it. That be your first mistake. Oh shit! I got a I got I got a thirty. I got I got a Glock with a thirty. That's what that's your first mistake. You better be able to up that motherfucker first. I tell you that. Or you gonna be dead with your thirty. That's what you do. I'm gonna repeat that process. This can go for women that stay alone too. This can go for drug dealers. This can go for everybody. Everybody. You unlock one lock. See, you normally got two locks on the door. I don't know, some of y'all live in some fucked up shit where y'all only got one dead boat. If y'all, if that's the case, just jiggle the handle real quick and look out that bitch. Jiggle the handle like you get ready to come out that motherfucker. Especially if you come out at the same time every day. Jiggle the handle real hard like you get ready to come out that motherfucker. You can even hit the dead bolt, unlock it, then lock it real quick and jiggle the handle and look out the peephole. Nine times out of ten, if somebody coming for you, they want to get closer. They want to get closer. They don't think you looking out the people when you coming out. See, I'm a naturally paranoid motherfucker. I'm naturally paranoid. I'm naturally paranoid. And we about to come into Orlando, man, for the part three, baby. Let y'all, I'm gonna let y'all catch a little glimpse of this shit. I'm about to come. Just in case you ain't never been to Orlando. You ain't never been to Orlando. Here you go. Here you go. In the distance is Orlando. I don't know if you can see it yet, but in the distance is Orlando. You'll see buildings or something uh, straight ahead. That's Orlando, baby. I'm in Orlando right now. But yeah, uh, look man, you gotta be smart, all right? It does not hurt to look around your house, look through every window before you go out that motherfucker, especially if you know you are doing some stupid shit. Or you're a single female, you wanna be, you wanna be, uh, very cautious. And to y'all niggas that like to leave with the drugs and y'all shit, 
Get y'all a ring, man. Get you a ring. You know, get you a ring. Get you some decoy cameras. I'm gonna tell you something, man. Don't nobody wanna break into no house that got cameras or alarm. So a lot of y'all don't wanna spend the money on the alarm. Man, then you get what you get. You know how many houses I done broke into that did not have an alarm? Then you get what you get. You get what you get, man. You know? Get you a dog. Get you a nice dog. So Lando to the left, man. I can't really show y'all too much of it. But uh it's downtown to the left. But yeah, uh You about to see the Amway Arena right here to the right. Amway to the right, far right. Get you an alarm, get you a dog. Boy, you was impatient as fuck, bro. God damn. Can I get the fuck over? Can I get the fuck over? Huh? Do I gotta take it? Huh? Do I gotta take it, bitch? You know what? Well, fuck it. That's Amway Arena to the right, man. I don't know if y'all missed it or whatever. I ain't about to touch this camera right now. This is Orlando. All this is Orlando. Oh. Uh, man. Look, man. It's all about survival. Part three.